What is going on everybody? We just found the cleanest, nicest Beaver Motor Coach I have ever seen. Today we're hanging out at the Motor Coach store and we just found the man Bradley Twain in action. Brad. What's up Andrew, how are you? Brad, doing great, thank you. We know you're hard at work, but I just told the viewers that the 09 Beaver Marquee that you have right. is the nicest Beaver Motor Coach in existence. Would you agree with that statement? Well, I'm a little partial, <laughs> so here's what I do. I try to curate, just like a museum does, the finest motor coaches and bring them to your audience. So yes, that one made the cut. So yeah, it's one of the nicest. And a bath and a half, very rare to have a bath and a half in that level of quality in that era. So one owner, I mean, all the stars align on that coach. Yeah, it's the real deal. Yeah, so we're gonna, one. you're busy, you gotta go to work. We'll catch up with you. We need to do another walk video soon, sir. Good, Thank you. you. All right, guys, we're gonna go find this beaver, but. That four travel just sold, high, high quality units come in. That's a service coach. And keep in mind, if you do want to get your coach service, they do have availability here at the Motor Coach Store Service Department. You can see the raving reviews on Google, a 4.9 star review with over 250 reviews. Nobody else in the luxury motor coach industry is doing things to the level that the Motor Coach Store does. So we're honored to be able to hang out here and film these coaches look at the level of equipment that they're doing full carp you know cleaning the carpets they're bringing in a third party carpet cleaning uh, company just going deep on these coaches before delivery man that's a nice old monaco uh looks like it just rolled in now they also do customer pay detail if you want to get full paint correction on your motorhome it's about five thousand dollars but when you look at the amount of hours that go in to doing paint correction the right way that's an excellent value and ladies and gentlemen here it is this 09 beaver marquee one owner with 54,000 miles we'll just do a quick little golf cart ride we just took uh, brad's golf cart for a little spin here but i mean the paint on this coach is just an excellent condition and you can just see the quality when you look closer at this coach and those of you that know beaver monaco corporation this is the real deal. But let's start at the uh, power plant back here. This has got the Cat C15 in it. 625 horsepower, an absolute monster. 10,000 pound towing capacity. And this coach only has 32,000 miles on it. It's on the Roadmaster chassis. So much quality here. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to showing you the interior, but let's take a quick look through these bays. You've got this cool stainless strip down the side of the coach, giving it a really good look. So back here, you've got your Lifeline chassis batteries. And then this bay is gonna house the holding tanks. Those are housed back there. Then you have your Aqua Hot uh, electrical controller here. It's got a fresh water dump here on this side if you just wanna dump that fresh water. It does have a heater here next to your holding tanks. So then you've got a power slide tray here a full pass-through bay. I see an extension for the macerator toilet here, extra belts, extra fuel filter. Really tells a story of someone that cares for their stuff. They have extra parts and pieces on board so they can keep the coach serviced and maintained. And I mean, we haven't even gotten back here. Here's the shade covers for the windows, extra fire extinguishers, a lot of value in all of this equipment. I know those shades alone are a couple thousand dollars to have those installed on your front windows. And when we open and close these basement doors, I can really feel that beaver quality. And here you've got your diesel fuel tank. You can fill that up on both sides. And it does have this little door right here. So you don't have to open the full bay at the diesel pump and i believe that's a 150 gallon diesel fuel tank bay one on the door side is going to be another full pass through bay and here we have a lot of the extra goodies that the original owner held on to here's some extra original carpet there's sunshades wrapped in the pool noodle all of those details really tell a story coming around to the front end we've got the cummins owning 12.5 generator and then we can press a button 
and that generator will come out. We do have it running right now. But you can see in excellent condition with only 1,560 hours on this generator. And up front here is a full pass-through bay with the power slide tray. And then here's the other side of that diesel fuel tank, also the propane tank. And then again, you've got that door on both sides so you can fill that tank without opening the bay door. And then here's the other side of the full pass-through bay. And with the slide rooms out, it's a little more difficult to access that. Now, typically when you're fueling the coach up, the slide rooms are gonna be in, so it's gonna be much easier to access the bay ahead of this. So we've got a little switch right here, and then we can bring some of those belongings out, and it's gonna be a lot easier to access this stuff from this side. I see some extra floor tiles here, a lot of original parts that came with this coach. And then check this out, the Beaver plumbing bay here. You've got your power 50 amp cord reel. You can monitor your tank levels, your macerator toilet flush, your power city water connection. And then you can open this little door here and have access to the manifold system. You have outlets, everything is very clean and well organized. I call that the plumbing bay but this is going to be the other side of the plumbing bay here with your dump valves you've got a little faucet outside everything very clean you can see the side radiator lots of little details in the paint job like a gold metallic like a black metallic a very rich paint job and then you'll notice the higher profile roof rails here on this side with that paint scheme going up into the roof rails as well as coming through the slide rooms and then we've got the big Gerard on on the other side. You've got all of this patio space under your awnings. But with all of this wind right now, we're gonna put those back in. I wanna point out, you also have another Gerard awning over your door as well, just to get a little more shade. But, but this is a lot of equipment. When you look at the cost of these awnings alone, there's a lot of value here. As you can see, this coach is extremely elegant. You've got the opposing sofas up front. This side is gonna be leather. And then I like how they broke it up with a fabric on this side. Beautiful black tile floors with a cool tile inlay. And these are heated floors. And then I'd like to point out just how much intricate detail work is on the ceiling here. And we've got those AC units running. It is nice and cool in this coach on a hot Florida day but when you look at all the woodwork the leather really cool style lots of lighting in this coach very elegant luxurious feel inside of this coach now back up in the cockpit area here you can see the two-tone steering wheel with 34,000 miles on it you've got a backup camera nice cup holder very easy to get to all of your controls here a couple more cup holders up front and then right now we've got the big T TV down up front here. This is a Sony TV. And then we can just press a button right here and it will tuck that TV away. And just such beautiful woodwork as we look around this coach. And then now you've got that nice, you know, leather wrapped compartment up there. And these are all power blinds here. We've got switches here, uh, all blinds up. And then you can see it's got like the Roman style shades there. I like the look of it down on a hot Florida day. And these captain's chairs are heated as well. Your passenger has a cup holder, AC controls for your passenger, nice little uh, storage compartment up top. And when you open and close these cabinets, I mean, it's very robust. You do have some more cabinets, more storage above your sofa over here. And again, extremely clean, lined with carpet. You just really feel that quality when you open and close these cabinets. Just a totally different level than the current production motorhomes. Now this couch will turn into sleeping if you need. Coming into the galley, we've got this beautiful wine glass cabinet here. Very pro so that your wine glasses aren't rattling while they're going down the road. It does have this sharp microwave oven. A little storage above here. You do have a vent with a fantastic fan up top. Nice sink covers that match the solid surface countertop. Covers here for your cooktop. 
Then if you need a little more uh, countertop space, you pull this out and lots of high-end details in this coach, like the little glass divider here and so much intricate detail work on the woodwork here on this slide room face. Then coming over to the dinette, you've got these beautiful large dinette chairs. Again, very high quality, more of that high quality woodwork. You've got that rounded edge right here with storage above your dinette, all lined with carpet. That cool little round piece there, very high end. And then even little details like a little spot to run cords up here if you want to use this area as an office. And you have a lot of headroom here. I like the way these cabinets are tucked back, puck lighting overhead. It gives you a lot of light in your dinette area. And more puck lighting on this slide room. There's lots of lighting in this coach. For these dark colors, you know, you've got the dark floors, the dark cabinets. A lot of times when we film coaches of this vintage, if they're not well lit, they kind of appear dark, but that's definitely not the case in this coach it's so well lit that it really shows those high quality finishes and then you've got your residential refrigerator it does have this mechanism to keep the door locked in place while you're going down the road so you don't have stuff flinging out of your uh, refrigerator when you make a sharp turn and then this is a nice little area for maybe a coffee maker they've got the cool elephant decor piece you have almost like a little art cabinet here and these doors I'm learning they have that little snap feature. So when you open and close them, you just press that and that'll unlock it. And then when you wanna lock it into place, just close it like that. Same thing with these doors below, uh, more storage here in the middle of the coach. The thing that really separates this coach from other coaches of this vintage is the floor plan. This is a bath and a half floor plan. I've got to point out the beautiful woodwork on the door here and a good size half bathroom with all those same high-end surfaces. You've got more storage in here, nice large medicine cabinets. Again, it's that same thing. I want to open them up, but you've got to just lock them into place. I like that they lock into place nice deep medicine cabinets as well so coming back into this coach this does not feel like a motor home especially of this vintage extremely high end with the king size bed and i love what they did back here on the headboard i know the newer high model new mars the million dollar and up coaches have kind of copied this design a very high end headboard with the wood with the glass inlay but if you want to open those up you actually have a window behind that and we do have those blinds down on that window right now and i really like that they don't have cabinets over your bed giving you more headroom but then you do have these cabinets on both sides of your bed as well as a little countertop space on both sides of your bed and you've got a samsung tv with the bose sound bar and just so much beautiful intricate detail work on these faces of these drawers here it is just like being in a time capsule this level of quality you do not see in motorhomes these days unless you get into that two million dollar and up range so you have a lot of drawer space here. Very high quality drawers when you open and close those. And then you have a ceiling fan in your bedroom as well as a really nice aesthetic piece with the leather and wood inlay with more puck lighting. And then a huge rear master bath, so far ahead of its time with this floor plan and this level of quality, just such a rare coach. Check out the size of this shower with this beautiful tile inlay on the walls here. I mean, this is huge. You've got a really nice seat. You can sit down very comfortably in this coach. And then a skylight as well as additional lighting. Then a really nice bowl sink right here. And that was a heavily updated option. And the Motor Coach store does have all of the information, the specs, the build sheet on this coach on their website. So if we missed anything in this video, you can always check it out at themotorcoachstore.com. But beautiful tile backsplash, very large medicine cabinets. And then there's a small step up here to your Tecma toilet and then you've got a very large closet across the rear of the coach again that wood grain with the glass inlay very high end and that closet does light up all lined with carpet I see the beaver owners manuals additional chairs for the dinette extremely clean rear closet and then you can access this closet you know from either side here I like how open it is along the back of the coach and then right here is going to be your stackable washer and dryer so if you want to do some loads of laundry and then just load them right into your closet right there it makes it easy then a little more storage here again all that high-end woodwork 
and then some drawer space as well. Nice deep drawers here. The best part about this coach is it is available here at the Motor Coach store in Bradenton, Florida, where it has undergone an extensive detail NPDI process. The Motor Coach store is a boutique dealership, completely different than the big box stores out there. When you take delivery of this coach, you can spend as much time as you need. You can stay in the coach several nights. They'll have a technician go over everything. Make sure you understand how to work all of these systems. Make sure everything is operating to your expectations. So not only is this the nicest, extremely low mile bath and a half beaver, one of the last of the extremely high quality motorhomes with a Cat C15, that Monaco construction on the Roadmaster chassis. There's so much value here. And then tying that in with the delivery process that you receive at the Motor Coach store, this is a great opportunity for someone in the market for a Highline Motor Coach. If you're a serious and qualified buyer, you can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are subscribing. We hope you're all having a great day.